In the last lecture, we understood what is cyclicity of numbers and we also derived the cyclicities for digits 0, 1, 2 and 3. And now, in this presentation, we will find out the cyclicities for digits 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This is our cyclicity table and we have obtained the cyclicities for 0, 1, 2 and 3. And now we will move on to find out the cyclicity of digit 4. To find out the cyclicity of digit 4, we have calculated the various powers of digit 4. And now we will shift our focus on the unit places of these results we have obtained. For 4 power 1, we have 4. So 4 is the digit at unit place. Then we have 6. And after 6, we are again getting 4. So there is a repetition after two intervals, then we get six. So we can see that the cyclicity of digit four is four six. With increasing powers of four, the unit place will have four six, four six, four six and so on. So the cyclicity of digit four is four six. Now let's move on and find out the cyclicity of digit five. We have calculated various powers of digit 5 and you can see that at units place we are always getting 5. So the cyclicity of 5 is going to be 5. And you can notice that like the cyclicities of 0 and 1 we are getting single digit 5 as the cyclicity of 5. Let us find out the cyclicity of digit 6. For the increasing powers of 6, we are getting 6 always at the unit's place. So similar to 5, 6 will have the cyclicity equal to 6. And again, we are getting something similar to 0 and 1. 0 has the cyclicity equal to 0 itself. 1 has cyclicity equal to 1. 5 has cyclicity equal to 5 and 6 will also have the cyclicity equal to 6. Now it's time to find out the cyclicity of digit 7. We have calculated the powers of 7 to find out the cyclicity. And now we will focus on the digits we have at unit place and try to find out the repeating pattern. We have 7, then we have 9, then we have 3 and then we have 1 and again we are having 7. So you can see that after 4 intervals, we are getting the repetition as 7, 9, 3, 1. When you calculate further, you will again get 7, 9, 3, 1. So 7, 9, 3, 1 is the cyclicity of digit 7. Now let us find out the cyclicity of digit 8. We have 8, 4, 2, 6 and then again we are getting 8, 4, 2, 6. So we can see that the cyclicity of digit 8 is 8, 4, 2, 6. And again, moving further, we will have 8, 4, 2, 6. So cyclicity of digit 8 is 8, 4, 2, 6. Now you can observe like 2 and 3, cyclicities of 7 and 8 are having 4 digits. And this means after interval equal to 4, the repetition will take place. Now we are only left to find out the cyclicity of digit 9. Focus on the digits at unit place. We have 9, then we have 1 and again we are getting 9 and then 1. So it is clear that the cyclicity of digit 9 is 9, 1. Calculating further, you will find 9, 1, 9, 1 at the unit's place. So we have 9, 1 as the cyclicity of digit 9. Like 4, we are getting 2 as the interval in case of digit 9. So in this way, we have our complete cyclicity table and in the upcoming lectures, we will derive few more conclusions from this cyclicity table and solve some good questions. So I hope you now clearly understand how we get the cyclicities for different decimal digits we have. And now I will end this lecture here and I will see you in the next one.